there is a possibility that Bjorn Dahlen could end up without a medal at all. This is not the situation that he was planning for. Yes, he's been putting in some sprints training just in case it develops. There's the site of the uh, navigation error in the pursuit race. Well, is it going to come down to that one mechanical error he had on that first standing shoot? Lost him four or five seconds at least. And here he is. He's only got half a second clear of Landertinger. Well, the pressure is on, and Bjorn Dahlen is turning up the pace. Landertinger looks strong. Suman is up there as well. Suman wearing the red bib as the leader of the pursuit stand, the uh, mass start standing so far this year. And uh, he'll fancy his chances as well. Landertinger, remember, a very strong finish, but he was out sprinted by Christoph Stefan. And uh, he certainly outskied Bjorn Dahlen on the last loop of the mass start in uh, Antolt. So uh, he'll know that he's got the strength. Here goes Bjorn Dahlen. Looks as though he is digging deep now, trying to ski the sprint finish out of the Austrian legs. Well, if you are going to break all the records, you need to do it the hard way. And that is certainly what Bjorn Dahlen's got to do today. Win number 88 is just, uh, what's the distance? We're at 12.7. We've got another 2,300 metres to go. No sign of uh, cracking from Landertinger or Suman at the moment. Sherazov is starting to suffer. He's lost a second and a half over the first 700 metres. Thomas Shakura, 18 seconds down. He skied so hard already, Shakura. I can't believe that he's going to get himself back into medal contention. Four names. Only three will find a place on the podium. And the Austrian has gone through. Landertinger has taken the challenge to Ole Ein and Bjorn Dahlen, and that might split the group up. Suman eager to get back in touch. Now, I wonder which way you see this one going. The best finish of the season so far. I thought Antolt's mass start was good. This one could be even better because there is so much more at stake. Bjorn Dahlen's record, yes. Landertinger's first ever win. Is it going to be his day? I certainly think he looks as though he's got the running in his legs. Suman looks smooth in third. No real move from Suman. But if uh, Landertinger gets away, he's got to make a move. And Bjorn Dahlen has allowed a gap to open up. He has allowed a gap of some 9, 10 metres, and Landertinger goes again. Another burst from the young Austrian. My goodness, this is an impressive performance. He's shot well, and he's skiing like the wind at the moment. Landertinger with three misses today. Bjorn Dahlen with three. Sherazov with two. Suman with three. Suman goes ahead of Bjorn Dahlen, so suddenly the gold is turning into bronze for the Norwegian champion. And with Sherazov right on his heels, there is a chance that he will not medal at all today. My goodness, what a turn of events. At one stage, it looked as though the gold was in his pocket. Austria could be looking at gold and silver. There's Michael Lofgren, he's Swedish but works as a coach for the Norwegian team and he's done great work with uh, Bjorn Dahlen this season. But Landertinger, he's younger and he is stronger, he's taller and he's faster. My goodness, he's really turning it on and he'll be hurting, hurting like anything at the moment. Now let's just see where Landertinger was at the halfway stage. After two shoots, he was all the way down in 14th, 51 seconds off the lead and he stuck to the task and he's still here. He is out skiing the best biathlete of all time and he's making it look easy. Suman hasn't given up quite yet. I think Suman's mistake was not to go ahead of Bjorn Dahlen earlier. If he'd got onto the heels of Lanatinger straight away, now is Bjorn Dahlen. Bjorn Dahlen is now forced down into fourth place, and he's got to try and stay with Sherazov. If he wants a medal, to make it four medals from four individual races, well, he always knew it was going to get hard at some stage. And Bjorn Dahlen has said this season, if I miss targets, I know I'm not likely to win.
Well, Landertinger, who qualifies as uh, one of the best performers at the championship so far, wearing bib number 19. Many wouldn't have expected him to come through, but he is only 20. His shooting record this season is not brilliant. He's below 80% in both prone and stand, but today he's hit... Uh, well, he's hit 17 out of 20, and it's been enough. He is safe into the stadium now for a moment of glory for the Austrian team. What a moment for Klaus Siebert, who's been uh, working with them. And, uh, of course, uh, Alfred Ader, the head coach, uh, Klaus Siebert, working with Belarus. Apologies for that. But what a day for Landertinger. 38-32, the gold medal is his. The bronze, the silver goes to Suman of Austria. So a 1-2 for Austria. Suman puts uh, the demons to bed after a dreadful world championship so far. And Sherazov gets another bronze for the Russians. And Ole Aina Bjorndalen has to settle for fourth. Those two misses on the last shoot and that mechanical fault or, or uh, a loading error at the, uh, at the second or the first of the standing shoots have cost him today. He ends up 21 seconds behind. Good run from Mickey Roche in five. Thomas Shakura, 36.5 behind. He loses more points to Bjorn Dahlen in the challenge for the World Cup. But uh, that will be the last thing on his mind at the moment. Shoot off in seven. Simon Ada makes it three Austrians in the top eight positions today. What a fabulous performance from the Austrians. They showed us signs of this in Antots. They've done it again here today. And I tell you what, there will be some party in uh, Antots. And of course, just down the road. Prajolato. And the home, of course, uh, of uh, the Santas will be somewhat confused with Bjorn Dahlen losing, but the Austrians winning. Yeah. 38-32. What a last three kilometers from Landertinger. He paced that to perfection. Bjorn Dahlen may have gone a little bit too early, and it wasn't a convincing enough break to uh, get clear. Well, what a boost from the Austrian team, and I wonder where they go from here. Uh, Landertinger actually comes from Hogfilsen, which is the venue for one of the early World Cups on the circuit, has been for the last six or seven years. And uh, as a result of building those facilities and hosting the World Championships back in 2005, they have now produced some very, very good uh, Austrian biathletes. And, of course, uh, one of the big problems, they had the big scandal in San Sicario when many of their top athletes were banned from uh, Olympics and banned for doping offences. And uh, now, with uh, a much reduced budget, they've stuck to training in Hogfilsen. They don't travel like they used to. They've changed their uh, techniques. They've reduced the costs, but they have focused themselves and they've got some team spirit together. Today, they get not only the gold, they've also got the silver medal. So Bjorn Dahlen fails in his quest to pick up four golds from four individual races. Christoph Stefan fails to pick up his second medal, down in 21st. Sprint finish for 23rd and 24th, and it is uh, Ekholm who gets it ahead. Uh, in fact, Derry Zemlia coming in ahead of Makaviv. First and second, it's the youngster who gets the advantage over the veteran. Landertinger just 20, Christoph Suman, who's been around for many, many years, born in 1976, so well into his 30s now. Further down the order, another five to come in, only 30 qualifying, a disappointing run for... Jonsson, uh, 26th for Sweden. Uh, David Ekholm, uh, the boyfriend, incidentally, of uh, Helen Jonsson, down in 22nd today. Hasn't shown the form that he showed in the mix relay yesterday. Maybe starting to tire. Jonsson, uh, 26th. Bergman, 27. And uh, Bergman may be trying to save himself, but he's below par. He's uh, had a little bit of the illness that Bjorn Ferry has had. Now the Austrians uh, have to be told what to do because, uh, of course, the routine 
when you win a medal is very different. Doping tests and uh, interviews. And uh, Landertinger has been there once before, but he won't be too familiar with the World Championship routine. Prior to this season, his personal best was a 12th place. He got that in a sprint in Pakluka. That's where we saw signs of what he might be able to do. He was also a reasonably good junior, but uh, only picked up one medal or two medals in individual races in uh, Junior World Championships over the years. Not as distinguished as some, but... He is renowned for his ski speed, and when he shoots well, he knows he is going to be in the challenge for a top place. Today, he has taken that top place with that time of 38.32 to deny Christopher Suman, his teammate, in second. Sherazov gets the bronze for uh, R Russia, of course, and Ole Einar Bjorndalen has to settle for fourth place on the day, having led the way out of the range after the last shoot. So great scenes in Pyeongchang. Remember, there are still three races to go from the World Championships. We've got the women's relay later on today. We'll give you the timings for those in just a moment. Uh, there you have it, 11.10. Uh, that is Central European time. So if you're watching in the UK, make sure you're an hour earlier for that one. Germany, the hot favourites, with Caddy Wilhelm likely to take the... Uh, anchor leg and pick up her third gold medal of the championships and then tomorrow the women's mass start and we'll round off the championship with the men's relay we'll look forward to that but in the meantime congratulations to Landertinger of Austria who's taken the gold